Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Coach Eric Scowl with Gladiators Academy of Youngville. And I want to go over uh, five or six uh, different martial arts techniques that uh, every person should know in order to defend themselves. All right, guys? So we're, we'll start pretty basic and we'll kind of work our way up. The goal uh, of this video, guys, is I don't expect you to master uh, all of these. I do expect you to master at least two of them. All right, so that means watching this video over and over again and practicing. Watching this video is going to do nothing unless you apply what we're teaching you today. All right, guys, so we'll start off real simple where someone grabs my wrist. Simple enough, right? You grab the wrist, I break away, all right? Now, from this situation, guys, look, I want to use my entire body to break this grip. You know, the person's attacking us. They're probably bigger. They're probably stronger than us. So, look, I go ahead and I make a fist. I grab my own fist, and I'm pulling back, but I'm also stepping back with my whole body, just like that. One more time, he grabs, step back. What if this person is really strong, right? And it seems easy enough. I go and I pull back and he doesn't let go. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my rear elbow. I'm gonna step over and kind of like a, like a reading rainbow. Bam, I'm gonna slice him with the elbow. And from here, I can shove and start to get away. All right? So ideally, I wanna get away. I can't get away. I wanna hit hard. I wanna hit fast. Let this person, I mean business, all right? So when we attack, when we attack, we need to fire back right away, all right? So I grab, he grabs, I pull, I can't quite get away, step in, hey, you feeling fancy, throw a knee, shove, get away. You're gonna do what you train, guys. You're gonna do what you train in a, in a, a fight, or, fight or flight situation, all right? So uh, next situation, he goes and he grabs by the neck. Seem fancy, right? This is, a, uh, this is a real basic judo throw. It's actually one of the very first takedowns that you learn. Uh, it's called a head, head throw, or some people call it a hip throw. Um, this technique is, is great. It's very, very high percentage. All right, and if you can learn this technique, uh, this will get you out of a lot of bad situations. All right, so if we're standing, the person grabs us by the neck. I pop the elbow, grab the head, and I step in all at the same time. From here, I'm, I'm loosening that grip, and I'm also stepping in between his legs. And watch this, I'm gonna take my rear leg and step it behind as I pinch the elbow and head together. From here, like I have the head, I have the elbow, I give them a little booty bump, right? And now all their weight is on my hip, all right? So I let their, their body weight do the work. And especially if he's pushing into me, I'm transferring that weight, all right? One thing we, in jiu-jitsu that we teach guys is like, man, we don't wanna fight people, right? We wanna react off of what they're doing and use their body weight and their technique against themselves, all right? So he grabs the neck, pop, Back step, I'm grabbing the elbow and hitting my booty bump. And I can bring them all the way over, just like that. All right? And that's our head throw. And a little safety technique, when Coach A falls, he's going to tuck his chin, and he's actually going to slap the mat with his rear hand. We call that a back break fall, so he learns uh, not to fall down and crack his skull open. All right? Uh, that's the head throw. Now, so whenever someone grabs your wrist, someone grabs the neck, what if someone grabs you from behind? So either they're going to grab you from behind, or, uh, and, and kind of stay in one spot and try to choke or they're gonna try to drag you away. All right, now the grip we're showing here, this is actually if someone who is untrained. An untrained person will grab you with one hand. Someone who's a little bit more advanced is gonna lock their hands. And this is an actual lock and this is gonna, that's gonna be under a different video. It's a little bit more advanced technique, uh, to, to be honest. So if they go and they grab my neck, immediately I'm tucking my chin and I'm grabbing. Just like that. Ready? He goes again, he grabs. And I can also go right into a takedown from here. So he grabs the neck. Yeah. All right, and go right into a outside foot sweep. All right, probably for more of a self-defense situation. We really just want to get away. All right, but we'll show the, uh, the takedown just because. Okay, so he grabs the neck, chin down, grab, grab the uh, arm. And I'm grabbing the wrist, I'm grabbing his bicep, and I'm kind of acting like I'm Bam, turn the motorcycle. Bam, turn. I want to take a big, right, we'll turn this way. What I want to do is call it a big sumo step. I step. I can either break and get away, or watch, I'm going to take my rear leg and I step behind him. I'm going to bump his shoulder as I look behind me. And from here, we can take him down. All right, one more time. He grabs the neck, chin down, grab the hands, step, step behind him, bump, just like that. Or we can break and get away. Now, if the guy is actually pulling us backwards, it's a little bit harder, but we can still do it. So he grabbed my neck. All right, 
and the only difference was my footwork. He smoked that wall. That's part of the technique. Throw him to a wall. You know, so he's here, and look, he's pulling me backwards. So I can't what? Decelerate and get my weight forward to get away. It's not going to happen. So watch my, if you look at my footwork, he's pulling me back, step behind, and now I turn. So here I can bump and get away, or hey, I step behind, and now I go ahead and I can go just like that. All right? One more time. So he grabs my neck and he's pulling me backwards. All right? He grabs, pulling me backwards, step behind, turn, bump, and from here, I'm ready to go. All right? So that's from the standing position. Chances are we're going to get knocked to the ground, right? Uh, we're untrained. The person's bigger than us. Um, we may get knocked to the ground, all right? So, um, so from his position, a lot of times, hey, he hits me, boom, I fall to the ground. Immediately, guys, hands by my face, feet up, all right? I need to go ahead from this position. I need to kick away and elbow stand and sit up right away. I need to get up. I know we teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, God, we don't want to be on our back. We don't want to have this person in the guard position. We want to strike and get out of there, all right? So the band hits me whenever it may be. I fall down immediately, hands by my face, feet up. If I keep my feet down, what's he gonna do? He's gonna walk over me and attack me. Immediately, my feet in front, if I can put my feet on his hips, I can actually kind of control him a little bit. Real simple, guys, I'm just gonna kick at the knee and immediately hand up, sit up, and I lift up and I stand up, and now I can go away, all right? So last time, bam, we get hit, we're on our back, kick if I need to, Hand up, right? But if I just sit up right here, I'm getting smoked. Hand up, sit up, and if I need to, I scoop back a little bit, and now I can come up just like that. Let's go over one more, all right? What if someone comes with the old famous molly whopper, right? He throws, all right? And this is uh, what to do if someone's coming with a big punch. An untrained person isn't gonna throw a straight cross down the pipe, right? They're not as technical as Coach A. They'll probably come with a big right, a big overhand. So. That's what we should train. He throws the big overhand. I block with both hands, right? Again, using my entire body versus one portion of his body, all right? And that's what jiu-jitsu is all about. He throws, the, he throws the big punch, I block. Immediately, I go ahead and I step in, and this time I'm gonna get an underhook, all right? So last time I got the, I got the head. From here, I already have this inside control. I get the underhook. Back step like we showed before, bump. Still pulling the elbow all the way over, all right? Last time, I promise. There was a big punch, block with both hands. I need to close the distance, don't do this. So what's gonna happen? Come again, let's go. Keep coming, and keep coming, no, no. He throws the punch, boom. And I'll throw it right away. All right, guys? So guys, those are five or six uh, techniques that everyone should know, all right? These are high percentage moves, and this will most likely buy you a few seconds to get away. I'm not promising that these techniques will fight off an assailant, because after two minutes of a fight with someone, exhaustion is gonna set in, and you, uh, you'll most probably be assaulted, okay? Our goal is for you to disengage as quickly as possible. All right, guys, so my name is Coach Eric. This is Coach uh, Abram Sellers at Gladiators Academy. Thank you so much.